On this episode of Average Joe PT, we're going to talk specifically the difference between hip pain and back pain. And if you're having symptoms at home, how do you know whether it's coming from your hip or whether it's coming from your back? So go ahead and stay tuned. All right. Number one, if it feels like you actually lifted something wrong or you actually squatted and lifted, that could be the difficult part. Now, when you go to your doctor and you're trying to figure out how the heck do they know without having some sort of image, x-ray, MRI, CT scan, how do you really figure out whether your symptoms are coming from your back or coming from your hip? Now, symptom number one, if you're getting pain, numbness, tingling, burning sensation, or weakness, it's probably not coming from your hip it's coming from your back and in this case more than likely it's coming from a disc pushing out on the back side and hitting one of those nerves back there giving you the symptoms down your leg so that's indication number one if you have numbness burning tingling it's coming from your back and not from your hip the tricky part is is if you're having referred pain which we talked about in the past which is it's really just maybe one segment maybe back into the hip that's when it's difficult to tell the difference. Now, when you're going into the doctor's office and they're kind of looking at your bones and trying to figure out, all right, is it the bones, is it the spine doing it, is the hip doing it? How do we tell the difference? They're gonna go ahead and do an X-ray. That's the first thing they're gonna kind of clear out. Take an X-ray of the hip and see if you have a lot of severe arthritis coming from your hip. If you're having a lot of severe arthritis coming from their, your hip, then yeah, ding, 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 it's probably coming from your hip. They're gonna do a few tests it's called the Faber, F-A-B-E-R, which is where they flex the hip, they bring the hip out to the side with this abduct, and then they will externally rotate, which means in the hip, if you come and look at this hip for a second, just gonna kind of zoom in on this spot, if they kind of rotate and turn, what that does inside is it really pushes the ball further inside the socket, and they're trying to see if they can elicit any pain in that hip at all and they're gonna be like hey is that the kind of pain that you're having if that's the case it's probably coming from your hip and not from your back if all those tests that you do in the hip are negative the x-ray is negative they're doing some movements of your leg and that's negative they're gonna go ahead and now refocus on the spine and what they'll do is they might even do an epidural block now I'm gonna leave a link up there in my back um, catalog and I've specifically talked about this a long time ago when it comes to giving certain injections in the spine what they'll do is they'll go ahead and put a needle right in this spot here just in between that facet joint in the in the open space and they'll just bathe that nerve area with steroid and lidocaine kind of a numbing agent and then we'll, they'll go ahead and see if your symptoms go away now they'll do a few um, different epidural blocks in that area to see if they can really not only treat you but also figure out if you really your symptoms are coming from there in the first place. So that's really a couple treatment techniques as well as some diagnostic tests that they will actually do all in one to figure out truly is this coming from your spine or whether it's coming from your hip. So number one to go ahead and do an examination, go ahead and do a history and really figure out if that's where your symptoms are coming from. Okay, when you're in the office, the hip or the back. Then they'll go ahead and look at a few other things. They're like, okay, are you having any bowel or bladder issues where you can't hold your pee or you can't hold your bowels going poo? Then they're not going to look at the hip at all. They're going to go right to the spine because there's some red flags. If you're having some numbness in the saddle area, down in the nether regions that I've talked about during my walking uh, videos, you know, therapy. So if you want to look at any of those, it's Average Joe PT. It's in this, it's the same website. It's the same YouTube channel. And I have different walks that I've been doing, kind of correlating with my videos to see exactly um, are you having symptoms from this or are you having symptoms from that. So you can go ahead and look at, look at those. And I, I do those probably two or three times a week. And to kind of relate also with the videos that I've done in the past. So I've talked about if you're having some numbness in the saddle area region, you, we know that that's a red flag and you definitely want to go ahead and see the doctor immediately. It's not coming from your hip. It's really not coming from the spine per se. It's really coming from the nerves. 
in the spinal cord area and so you could really have an issue with that those are that's that's nothing to to take lightly you need to see a doctor immediately but that being said so what are some treatment ideas if you haven't really figured out where it's coming from the hip or coming from the back really just walk walking is one of them I always talk about that walking to see if your symptoms get better number two is obviously an anti-inflammatory medication so there's tons of them out there I've talked about them I leave ibuprofen naproxen any of those non steroidal anti-inflammatories or Tylenol you can take that if you have an ouchy stomach or you have some sort of GI issues you can go ahead and do that instead and see if your symptoms really start to calm down then you know you're not worried about something too bad and if you can calm down the inflammatory process your symptoms will go away where the inflammatory process is coming from your spine or if it's coming from your hip either or if your symptoms goes away it really does not matter and then obviously we always talk about having some sort of strengthening program afterwards now to really figure out whether it's coming from your back or coming from your hip you can kind of look at my catalog on snapping hip syndrome I'm gonna go ahead and leave that up there that was a more popular one uh, osteoarthritis of the hip you can see if your symptoms are coming from that so I'm gonna go ahead and probably give an update on the snapping hip the osteoarthritis and other types of treatments that you might want to do if your symptoms are truly coming from your hip or they're coming from your spine but if you'd like to DM me down below if you have any questions that would be great I'd, I'd love to go ahead and answer them hopefully you'll subscribe or get other ones to subscribe uh, at least leave a like or a thumbs up that go ahead and it, it pushes my video a little bit hopefully help others but until next time Scully and I always like to say look up and keep smiling see you next time folks